So advertising is more than advertising. In this book, Spent, they talk about how almost this notion that advertising is not is almost ineffective, kind of like the analogy of the peacock tail. So a peacock advertises its fitness, advertises its good genes by the, the how fancy its tail is. But it's, the tail is actually detrimental to the peacock because predators can see it, it slows them down. And so in some sense, like the cynical perspective of the purpose of advertising is to show that you have the capability of hiring the people who can do it and the ability to make the video and all of these things, which if you're able to do that, then you're most likely able to succeed to satisfy me with a good meal or whatever your service is. It's like people will be more impressed with, they'll trust a plane, a plane's their trust in how well a plane is going to take them to point A to point B more when there's good quality snacks on the plane. At the end of the day, we care about things that are sort of instinctual and fundamental to us and these, these indicators. And in the book Alchemy, it talks about when they invented typewriters, it didn't enhance people's productivity because somebody had to write it down first and then they had to type it out. So it actually like doubled the amount of work. But if you're a company that wants to demonstrate that you're a compelling, productive company, you had to demonstrate that you owned a typewriter, that you had a secretary, somebody who could do that. When they put BMW ads on the Super Bowl, they're not designed to sell people who watch the Super Bowl a BMW. That's not the, the function of them. They put that ad on the Super Bowl for the person who already owns the BMW who needs other people to think that they're a fancy person who, who owns a BMW. They need to continue to convey the notion of how you think about a BMW owner. And when you put chairs out at a coffee shop, you're demonstrating that you believe that people are going to show up to your coffee shop to sit in the chairs and that you have the resources to put them out um, in the morning and take them out. So the fact that it takes effort is actually a useful thing. So putting out chairs at a coffee shop is a form of advertising, is a way of, of thinking about that. You know, we, we always talk about how people buy Tylenol more than they buy the brand competitor, the um, generic competitor, even though by law they're supposed to be the exact same thing. Um, but one of the things, like I mentioned earlier, one of the things band, brands do is it builds trust. It allows trust to happen because for whatever reason, if they don't give you what you need to, for your headache, that company is going to suffer the consequences. Like Tylenol has put their name on it. They've invested all these resources in their brand, and so they have they have something at stake if they fail. But a generic brand doesn't have anything at stake. They could just become another generic brand.